Hi, I'm Kate Abney, Homes Editor at Lux Interiors and Design, and welcome to Summer Staycation, Building Resort-Worthy Spaces at Home, part of AJ Madison's Dream Outdoor Sanctuaries Takeover on Design TV by Sandow. Today's esteemed guests are Sean McAleer, President of Deck Remodelers, and Jessica Petrino, Editorial Director at AJ Madison. Sean and Jessica, welcome. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much for joining us. And I'm really excited to discuss creating the ultimate backyard oasis. As mentioned, Sean McAleer is the president of Deck Remodelers, regarded as a leading award-winning outdoor design and build firm in North America for 10 consecutive years. Based in the tri-state area, Deck Remodelers are experts in designing and building boutique backyard resorts. Sean leads an enthusiastic team that executes designs for nationally recognized award-winning decks and outdoor living spaces. Sean has been in the business for years. He mastered his craft as a third generation carpenter and cabinet maker. His work at Deck Remodelers begins with surveying the landscape's high points, learning the homeowner's vision, and then creating from the ground up to create an outdoor living space that not only fits the home's architecture, but also accents the client's lifestyle. And our consulting expert today is Jessica Petrino, Editorial Director at AJ Madison. Jessica is a home appliances matchmaker. She loves helping clients select the best appliances for every situation. Jessica is a digital CEU provider for the National Kitchen and Bath Association and recently served as a featured expert on outdoor kitchen appliances at the Voices from the Industry Conference at KBiz. She was recognized by the NKBA as an industry 30 under 30. You can find her advice in the AJ Madison Learning Center, social media platforms, and Ask the Appliance Experts on WCBS News Radio. So thank you guys. We're so excited to, to be speaking with you today. Great to be here, especially thank thinking you. about summer with all the snow that's coming down at the moment. Yes, yes. I'm really excited to talk about summer and today's topic. You know, outdoor living areas are what everyone seems to be talking about in design at this moment. And I think homeowners are really particularly craving these outdoor spaces, not only because they provide an opportunity to enjoy the outdoors, but they're also expanding the usable footprint of their homes. However, I know this isn't something new. It has been growing for a long time. COVID really kickstarted that interest, right, Sean? Very much so. Really, a lot of people... A lot of people that were too busy to sit around at home and take a look at what they had got stuck at home and looked in the backyard and said, oh, we don't have anything here. So really put it on the people's radar. Yes. And you really are on a mission to bring the same high quality design of the indoors to the outdoor space, right? Absolutely. A lot of my clients, um, the backyard space, their deck, their old deck that was built 20 years ago with just you know, pressure treated lumber or whatever, they have beautiful homes. This was the crappiest home, the crappiest room in their house. And really when we're done, it's one of the most beautiful spaces in their house. Yes, I, I mean, I completely agree. And when I look at the portfolio of your work at Deck Remodelers, I'm definitely seeing that. You have a way of blurring the line between indoors and out and also giving sort of those luxurious touches that we've come to expect in high-end interiors. But one thing that I particularly love about your outdoor spaces are the way that you have mastered the outdoor kitchen, which is what's so exciting because it's, it's what gets us out there really enjoying those outdoor spaces. Can you tell us about some of the spaces that you, that you create for your clients? Yeah, we do a, a broad range, a broad range of spaces. And, and it used to be the kitchens were every second or third project that we would do and really now literally every project we do we're doing a kitchen on and some of them we're doing more than one we're doing a you know a more functional one by the house and a bigger one by the pool or a bigger one by the house and um you know a, a more functional one down by the pool for those days when they're down there grilling and everybody wants to stay down there but uh yeah it's, it runs the range and we use you know back in the day this the whole evolution of the outdoor space now we do outdoor kitchen cabinets, nature cast cabinets that literally look as nice as the interior cabinets in the house. And they come with all the same kind of um, amenities that you would want. Jessica, I would love to ask you about this because I know with AJ Madison, you have a lot of experience with sort of helping customers 
figure out the best appliances for their kitchen spaces. The days of putting just a freestanding grill in the backyard at a later stage in the project is kind of over. And these spaces are becoming so well thought out to the point where the conversation is definitely not just about the 4th of July anymore. Uh, we're talking about the whole year worth of use in an outdoor space. Um, now with regards to an outdoor kitchen, I always recommend taking account of the functional zones that are inside of your indoor kitchen. So inside of an indoor kitchen, we have cooking appliances. So you're definitely going to want to consider a really good trustworthy grill that's gonna turn on when you need it. Um, we're seeing a tremendous rise in alternate cooking appliances. Um, the, one of the most asked about products that we're hearing about these days is the outdoor Napoli oven, um, commonly used for pizza, um, but you can really cook anything from cornbread to cookies, um, steak on cast iron. You can do anything um, inside of an outdoor oven. Uh, furthermore, uh, we're seeing a much greater variety in outdoor griddles, side burners, um, wok burners, um, and ways to customize cooking. When it comes to refrigeration, um, we're definitely seeing an uptick in uh, these beautiful entertainment spaces. And when working with clients, uh, for me, it's definitely just getting a sense of how the person likes to entertain, what types of drinks do they like to serve, whether it is ice cream and popsicles for the kids running around by the pool, or if it's more of a sophisticated wine tasting room. Um, in your backyard and everything in between. Sean, you have a way of creating these resort-like experiences for your clients. That that's sort of what I think about when uh, you go to the go to escape outdoors and you enjoy that sort of lounge time and entertaining time. It's almost like escaping to your favorite resort. You know, we've all been there on vacation. You get the cocktail. You sit down in the chairs. You're in the shady area, and it's just absolutely heaven. It's just perfect. That feeling that you have and, and all, all your cares melt away and you're just enjoying the people you're with. You could spend hours and hours just hanging out and relaxing. And that's really what people want. You know, they don't want to have to travel for all of that to do that. They want that feeling. And especially the way that we're all locked down and everything has been going on and crazy recently, having that escapism and being able to, you know, escape to your own backyard and have that resort feel is just absolutely priceless for people. They really, really want it. And gathering friends and family over, it's fun to go on vacation, but you know, we don't always get to take all the friends and family, but when you can have them all at your house and it's like you're on vacation together, it's, it's fantastic. Yes, I completely agree, Sean. And you know, could you paint a picture for us of some of these spaces you've created? I, I've noted that you know, you're creating under decks and cabanas and this amazing variety of spaces that a lot of homeowners may not even think of to create, but you, you really deliver on those, right? Right. That's so my approach, I'm looking at the way people want to live in their home and live outside their home. Do they have little kids and they have lots of people over? Do they entertain frequently or is it just a few um, adults depends on the different kinds of spaces that we do. And you want to, I want to design for um, spaces that flow one into the other. So you can have an intimate space if it's just a couple of people and you're together, or if there's a whole bunch of people, I want everybody at the party to feel like they're all at the same party. The days of breaking up spaces, like if you have a multi-level deck, one of the things that used to make me nuts was they would have rails in between the levels. Well, I don't want to sit looking through rails, talking to a friend of mine on you know, a different level when there's a bunch of people there. So you'd have everybody con congregating in a small space. We took all that out. It's like the open floor plan in houses. You know, um, In architecture of, of newer homes, you have that open floor plan. Everybody can be connected when they want to be connected. Really, people are spending a lot of time and money developing these spaces so they can just have the perfect experience for their guests. And, you know, one of the things too is islands. I put islands in almost every design I do because everybody knows 
the island story. When you have people over at your house, you're trying to prepare food and get ready, you go in the dining room, eat them, sit and everything. Everybody's at the island. They're all hanging out with you. The, right. same, thing, the same thing happens outside. Right, right. And, you know, I, I know that you staff uh, NKBA certified kitchen designers on staff. You have interior designers who work on the outdoor space. And you also graduated as a, as a chef. So I know that you, you definitely know your stuff when it comes to creating that ideal culinary environment outdoors. And I love that you mentioned the pizza ovens, which is, you know, one of the great appliances that Jessica recommended. Uh, so Jessica, are there any other sort of buzzworthy appliances on your radar that we should, you know, keep in mind and look for in the, in the coming spring and summer? Absolutely. I think for the majority of people who are remodeling their outdoor spaces to the point that Sean was making it no two kitchen appliance packages for the outdoor space should look the same um, there's so much variety and one of the most fantastic things about the Lynx brand and a reason why I've been specifying it for so long is because they have a tremendous selection of products that all match mm -hmm. matching handles matching finishes and there are so many different shapes and sizes. Um, the most important product to many people when considering their outdoor designs is ultimately a really high quality, trustworthy grill. Whether they're putting a large grill in the main outdoor entertaining area, maybe they're putting a smaller version by a guest house. Um, there's so much variety there, but having a grill that's going to kind of have everything that you need when you need it, it is, made from high quality, three or four grade stainless steel. You want something that's going to have a smoker box if you want to insert wood chips to impart more flavor um, and something just with some really high quality grades that's going to last you for a long time. So definitely pay attention to the features of the grill that you're considering. Um, furthermore, you definitely don't want to overlook the areas of storage and cleanup as well. So like with your indoor space, it's really important to consider what types of grilling tools you're gonna to be using, whether you have um, any sets of plates and cups and flatware for outdoor versus indoor. Um, the ability to be able to house and store all of those goods near where you're using them, it's really gonna limit trips in and out of the house. Um, personally, I'm a little bit excited about um, having a, a cocktail station, you know, especially has a built-in sink. Prior to the pandemic, you know, our yards were kind of the place where on weekends we went to do work. Transforming that space into an area that can be relaxing, extending the square footage of the house is just so special. To be able to take a place that was previously considered to be work and make it an area of escape. I love that. You're right. It used to be yard work. That was the thing. Um, the spaces we design, we don't want them to be work. So we're designing with no maintenance materials, the nature cast cabinets that we're using. Um, we design with natural stone, a great company we work with our stone. It's all natural stone veneers and they'll last a lifetime. So it's really important to, to think about when designing these spaces to design with products. First of all, products that are gonna withstand the extremes of temperature and, and weather, but also the way that they're put together so that they maximize the lifespan of what you're building because it's, you know, you want to build something beautiful, you want it to last. As someone who lives up in the Northeast, it used to be the sentiment that we're going to use our outdoor living area for two, three, four months out of the year. And then beyond that, it's kind of a lackluster investment. Um, and that has completely changed with the ultimate range of products and finishes available today to be able to withstand varying weather conditions. Um, if you live in a place with cooler temperatures, considering an area for people to gather, uh, Lynx makes a fire table, uh, which is a beautiful fire pit where people can gather around. So kind of drawing from those experiences, not just the warm weather ones um, to home has been a tremendous trend. 
I just want to thank you so much for your expert insight. And, you know, it sounds like deck remodelers and AJ Madison are both great places to start when we're putting together our ideas for this spring and summer. So thank you so much for joining us on Design TV.